here's a top tip for you. Just gonna explain nine times out of 10, the reasons why you get frap ups, the line going around your rings and end up cracking off sometimes. So it's two reasons mainly, nine times out of 10. The first of them being when you're wrapping your rods up between your distance sticks. So when it's then coming back to putting the line back onto the reel, as I see a lot of people, they're putting it on too loosely. So what that means is that when they're casting out again, there's a loose looper line, goes up through the rings, wraps around the ring, and that's why you get a frap up. So my top tip is, the first one, is when you're coming to reel the line back onto your reel, it's just basically such a little, little thing but makes such a huge difference, is to trap the line between your fingers as you're getting the line back around your distance sticks. And that just makes sure that the line's bedded back onto the reel properly, nice and tight. And when you cast back out again, it avoids getting a frap up. The second reason being, when you're casting your spom out, it didn't have it so much when it was the old school spods because you had more resistance when you're reeling in. When you reel a spom in, it flutters over the surface and you're not getting that much resistance when you're then coming to reel your rod back in again. So exactly the same principle, when you're reeling your spot in after putting some bait out, it's just to trap your finger round the line as you're reeling in, and the same thing. It just beds the line back onto the reel, nice and tight, and then avoids you then having a frap up on the further casts. So that is my top tip.